Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and welcome back to Peninsula, a new era. Uh, we're still focusing on the new Vegas industry setup and uh, and as you can see I've, I've had my paint bucket out and I've, I've generally sloshed it around the place while you've been away. You can see the evolutionary fade in out kind of business going on hit way bit of speed um yeah going going on i've managed to get it all working it's all uh, it's all good it just looks a little more authentic now anyway today we're going to hook up iron ore and then as a bonus treat for everybody we're going to go and send it all down the steelworks for fun laughs and melting So there we go. Because I'm a speed builder now, I've decided that I've just I've just dispensed with all of the uh, you know high speed watching stuff being built. Here's what I've built. There you go. That's it. Uh, yeah, train leaving the station. Lots of wagons going on. Uh, you don't know where this station is. Could be anywhere. No, you, you don't need that in level of information. All you need to know is that I built it. It's great, and uh, and that's the end of today's show. Thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, remember to subscribe if this is the kind... Of... Yeah, of course I'm joking. I mean, you've already seen that this is a, uh, a perfect 20 minute long video. So uh, let's rock and roll and get to the good stuff. Okay, so first job was to bulldoze the old station uh, at the bottom there because uh, we actually gonna need a little bit more space than that uh, to build our, uh, our monstrous, well, uh, interchange junction connection type station. Now, I tried this already, uh, and I tried coming down the hillside, well, down the mountainside, uh, from where I wanted my iron mines. That didn't that, that didn't work out so well. So I decided to build up from the bottom, as, as you can see already, uh, this idea of a little bridge I've got crossing over the existing facilities. Yeah, it took a bit of wiggle in there. You're going, do you like that? And I went, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, so no, let's, have a, let's do it again. There you go, that. oh, that's much better. No, is it? Yeah, yes, can I move on now? Yes, I can. Okay, so the reason that I've done it again is because uh, I had a heck of a time winding it down the side of the mountain and then getting it to hook up to the ground level where I wanted the stage. I'm flipping, just, I mean, do it again and again and again. And this is why speed building is beneficial because you, you know, you, know, you can. Uh, you can experiment until you make it uh, uh, in a fashion that you're happy with. And what I wanted is a little bit of peekaboo rail coming out near the station before snaking through the mountain and then up. Uh, I'm avoiding helixing right now because I don't doubt that I'm gonna be using it at some point in the future. Right, this, this see look, I mean, I should have guessed from here, right, that, that getting across this particular cliff span here, this, this chasm, was only ever going to look rubbish, no matter which bridge type, br uh, bridge type you decided to take a swing at. Uh, but then I thought, hang on, I can just cheat. Let's uh, let's raise the height of this bottom bit a little bit, and then the the pillars won't look quite so egregious. Well, at least that's the theory. Um, and, yeah, yeah, there you go. One big beefy pillar in the middle. That'll do nicely. Uh, perfect. Anyway, I wanted to go around the far side of the island for iron ore. And uh, I just wanted to get to a point that I could guarantee my track would be able to get up to that level. So you level off a bit, bulldoze the track back, and then uh, go, oh no, wrong button, uh, and then go, why, why is that hole still there? Just flipping out of it. Uh, there you go. Uh, and then you build your nice big plateau on which to build industries, uh, because that's what you're doing, is building industries on a nice big, flipping egg. That's, that's larger than I anticipated. Um, all right, well, a bit more flattening is required. Uh, how much? So you, you, you waft it around a little bit to get a feel for how big do I need this thing to be? Because unlike the coal, and uh, you'll see over to the right there that we've got the little coal turnaround junction uh, in shot, which is quite pleasing. Um, uh, maybe even work that in a little bit later. Spoilers, I don't. Um, anyway, yeah, I need three of these, but I want them all on one level this time around instead of some kind of split level affair. Largely because I've kind of run out of island at this point, or I've run out of this bit of the island. There's plenty more island to play with, uh, but this bit I've kind of run out on. Now, if you're gonna stick your, your industry in, you then have to do quite a bit of cliff reshaping so it doesn't look like the game's cut the cliff away, that, that you've done it manually or that uh, Mama Nature and all her merry pixies have done the job for you. So you've got to do the same here, in which case you end up building a bit more islands just so that you can kind of blend it, smooth it, sculpt it, spike it up a little bit to make it look uh, 
semi-realistic. And then as long as you don't look at it for too long, you kind of go, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, more of that. Totally. And then get your fine detail brush out and uh, just do some edge highlighting. Oh, super duper. Oh, isn't, isn't, that just the, isn't that just the business right there? Yes, it is the business, I'll have you know. Um, because uh, you also want to kind of obfuscate the fact that you've flattened it out. There you go. See, look, I'm, I'm putting in little ridges. The other thing you've got to do is if you're going to do this kind of, you know, terrain rebuild business, is you've got to, you, you've got to all make it look different and interesting. Right, on to stations. Now, this needs to be a big, beefy, long station, this one, because uh, the plan is, rather than doing the, uh, the multi-shunter thing, because I've done that now, uh, instead, we're going on to, uh, on to several beefy trains that will come a-rocking and a-rolling up the mountainside uh, in order to, to, to pick up all of the juicy iron ore that I've got going on. Now, the problem here, of course, is that uh, I'm only actually connected to one iron ore mine there, so I am setting up a little shunting route to, uh, to ferry the ore to the one big central kind of repository kind of idea. Extend out the platforms out this way. I mean, yes, it's a little bit death defying, but it means that I can put buffers on the end. These uh, uh, platformless stations that I've taken to using because they're that well, they're skinny. They don't they don't have much of a footprint. Um, yeah, the, the downside is you can't bang some buffers on the end of it, so it always makes it look like the train's going to zip off the end. And if you're aiming for anything close to uh, to something akin to realism or semi-realism or at least fun looking. Uh, then you're going to want some buffers on the end of that as well. So, right, we now pick up the track that's coming up the side of the mountain and wang it through, create a nice compelling curve. And uh, let me tell you, curves don't get much more compelling than that. I've uh, I Rarely have I seen a more compelling curve than that one. Um, now, because I'm going to be sending uh, stuff up from the depot from down below, uh, as I'm calling it for the next couple of minutes, um, then you're going to want, you know, all of the standard kind of junction to and, and fro and paraphernalia and, and business so that stuff can slide around. Now, you would think, you go, yeah, all right, that's all right for a, for a pass number one. Oh, maybe maybe slide in a quick uh, a quick junction over there in order to uh, uh, to make it so I can switch tracks on the way back out. And then we're, uh, we're golden, right? Probably. Yeah, I bet that's good enough. Oh, is it? Yeah, 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 they're definitely good enough. Slip up a couple of these junctions and uh, you Bob's your uncle. Good. No, we're done here. We can move on. Oh, no, they oh, yeah, they have put in some of that as well. Put a nice, a nice crossover. Oh, we've got another station to put in. Uh, my, my mistake. No, it's okay. Go on. Ex are we going to extend out the ends of those yet? No, a bit of smoothing. Keep it keep it interesting. Do a bit of, do a bit of smoothing in between the track laying. Yeah, it, it's compelling. Good. Yeah, hang on this shot for a little while longer. Don't don't move on to the next bit. No, no, no. I don't think we've uh, we've really exhausted talking about this yet. Right, that's it. See, put in the last station, uh, and uh, part of me now goes, "You didn't actually need that station, son." I go, "Um, didn't I?" No, no. That was that was a a, a station that is uh, superfluous to your requirements because that's the station that is hooked up to your main station. I'm only noticing this now, of course. Well, I actually noticed it earlier when I edited this video footage before I rambled over the top of it. Um, but, uh, I mean, I'd, uh, again, more spoilers for you. I don't notice that. I'm noticing it now for the first time that that, that extra station don't need it. This also explains that when I get it running later on, which, uh, you know, that's the next episode, that when I get it running later on, assuming I do, it probably won't ship that much product. Yes, uh, there's a there's a thought, and I'll be somewhat perplexed as to why it's not shipping much product. And that I think I've just answered that question. Oh well, it looks good though, doesn't it? I mean, look at the number of tracks you've got going on here. Uh, when I switch over onto decoration mode, I'm going to make this look an absolute humdinger. Uh, it's going to make small children gasp in awe uh, when they see it, uh, if I ever finish fiddling with it. I mean, look at it. Look at the amount of track business going on there. Smooth, curves, looks a bit like a pony, or maybe a gun. Or maybe neither of those things. Sure, yeah, yeah, smooth this out. That's, yeah, that's good finesse there. Um, now, uh, in between episodes, I will be uh, taking the decorating gun up here. Um, but, you, you know, you don't need to see me using the decorating gun. No, no, no. 
no, you, no, you don't. You don't. The, the output of the decorating gun is will, will more than suffice. Now, obviously a bit more track extension coming out for this bit uh, so that I can put buffers on. Despite the fact that this cliff face would have formed a perfectly adequate buffer system, if you ask me. No, not that you have asked me, of course. Right, back down the bottom. Oh, crumbs, time waits for no man. Uh, right, now, so it's time to decide where we're going to put the big beefy station that will be the interchange for the coal and the iron and the uh, the train that's going to hoik up the steel. I spent almost, almost two and a half minutes going, oh, hold on, do it over there. I went, oh, yeah, 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 that's good, yeah. Because, uh, you know, why work in the bit that you've already smoothed when you can smooth out a ruddy, enormous plateau? Ruddy, enormous. Um, yeah. No, I, okay, I can't beat oh, I decided on that quite quickly. Uh, and then I decided, actually, I, I don't want me. No, 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 no. no. We'll go for a skinny one. See, there's reasons for this. Um, uh, go for a skinny one, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll customise it to make it suit our purposes. Now, if you think about those little shunters, they're only little. And what I don't want is them sailing down three and a half miles. Of, oh, no, we're bored of that again, are we? All right. Go on, make your mind up, plunk it in. I could have edited this out, you know. I could have made myself look competent and able to make a decision, but I guess that just wasn't on the agenda today. Um, no, right, okay. Little skinny trains, shunters, yeah? They don't need four and a half miles of platform. They only need a little tiny bit of platform to, to pull into and, and drop off their precious goods. So that's what I've built them. Um, I'll, I'll, after that, I'll put in some regular track that is not platformed. So that, uh, so that they will stop in exactly the locale I want them to. I could be perhaps more clever and convincing uh, by switching it up and, uh, and going for... Uh, what exactly? Oh, that's a nice idea. Yeah, okay, maybe I'll, maybe I'll look into that. Right now, I've got it set up so that they all stop in exactly the same place. Well, that's not necessary. You could have them stopping in multiple different places and that would look really quite interesting. And there you go. Uh, this is a great change for Transport Fever 2, is that the platform widths are now the exact perfect size to get a couple of extra bits of track in there. So you can use those as sidings, bung some extra trains and uh, rolling stock and that kind of business in there. Fantastic. Uh, you'll see uh, I'm, I'm dallying around with the, uh, the depot that is 27 depots there. Oh yeah. It's a good looking building, and one of the main reasons I'm using it is because, uh, honestly, uh, it fit exactly on a bit of plateau I'd already smoothed. Now, here we go. Now, now, what we're talking about here is, is some plenty cunning. So first off, I'm running all of these tracks, including the two siding tracks in the middle, because I can use those for kind of switching lanes. Um, uh, run those back up towards the coal. We're not going to deal with that yet. That's, there's a lot of work involved in that, and, uh, and I, I, I cannot stress enough how many hours I spent fiddling around trying to get this junction to behave as I wanted. No, this is this is the winner right here. Are we, no, we're not doing it yet. Okay, just decided to try and put a crossover on a corner again. When will you learn that it doesn't want you to do that ever? I guess now. Okay, right, smashing. So we, uh, we need the depot to be able to get round over onto the far side of the station. So, uh, so firstly, it's got to be able to feed up the hill towards the uh, the iron ore centre because we've got our little shunting route up there. Plus, of course, we want to get the, uh, the the big beefy electric trains running up there as well. Ah, that'll be grand. Um, but uh, we've also got to get it round onto, as you look at the left side of the screen, well, okay, it was the left side of the screen a moment ago. Now it's the right side of the screen. See those two empty tracks there? That's the connection to go to the uh, to the steel foundry mill business process. And, uh, and I, I came up with a notion of, uh, no, we'll go under. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's it. We'll do a big swooping hook around. And, uh, you know, as inefficient as it may be, it's only ever going to be used to get to and from the depot, so it's all flipping marvellous. And, uh, and that's why I'm doing it, because uh, marvellous is where I live. That's a nice town. Look, look, look at it. I really should spend more time just, just appreciating the, the majestic views of that which I have built uh, with my imagination and uh, too much experience with the game. Uh, again, I've now decided that actually I'm going to bulldoze the existing shunting tracks back a considerable distance uh, before developing them further because hey who doesn't want to keep it 
complicated and have to do it all again. I even sell all the trains, you know. Sell all the trains that I've got at the moment, rebuild those routes, and, uh, and then try and plumb it all in, in a compelling fashion. It's going to be worth it, is the mantra I keep telling myself. In fact, I may even change that to be uh, the uh, the title card on today's... The, the sloganator! Flipping echo, I might not use that word for a while. Yeah! Uh, what's, it, what's, the, uh, what's the slogan? It's all going to be worth it. Right, yeah, no, I should do that. Anyway, look, I got a rare treat coming up for you in, oh, how, how long? About, about 17 seconds. I'm gonna cut into some live actual gameplay that was recorded actually live while I was actually recording this. I know, I mean, it's like, are you speed building? Are you playing for real? I mean, what's, what's a girl supposed to do? What are we supposed to think here? Right, as you can probably tell, that took a little bit longer than uh, than I anticipated. Well, no, actually, no, you've got no clue, because everything's speed built. What am I talking about? Anyway, look, here we are. We're riding on board our friend here uh, as we head towards uh, the freight interchange. Uh, now, I've got the route built up into the mountains, which is delightful. I uh, should provide some nice views along the way. Not quite sure why these signals are all doing the hokey cokey. That's a bit disappointing. Uh, that's going to be a bit of, I don't know, is it lods? Yeah, it could be lods, could be just lighting, could be anything. Uh, but well, whatever it is, uh, I've rebuilt this junction now six times because uh, it's all about getting the queue to form in the right place and uh, and where possible to, to not end in a situation where you've got queuing going on for ages and only ever one train in the platform. So I'm pretty sure it's working effectively at the moment touch woods if we jump out and have a look uh, there we go jump out is our uh, is our chum hello chum uh so you'll see that we've got you know we've got nothing in there at the moment no we've got one in at the moment and we've got another two coming in now he might get held at a signal yeah he's gonna get held but i don't know which track you're going in on there chum uh cold shunt one so you're in one of these first two so you're you're gonna wait for this one to clear presumably but uh, for a long time, I had queuing here that was just not clearing at all. Uh, so I've managed to route, if you check out the, the line alignment here, um, I've got more tracks going out than coming in, uh, which means that when you're coming in, there should be an easy way through in that regard. I know it looks like the same number of tracks coming in as out, but you've got this business going on over here as well. Um, now, I've not decorated here yet, no. We've got, we've got decorating to be done, but these two lines on the end here, this is the route up for the iron. That's going to get used next. These two here, therefore, uh, the, the interchange coming up uh, to head down to the uh, steel production. That'll be a marvel. Yeah, well, I'm going to do that in a minute. Uh, right, okay, but you know, last time I, I, I received a couple of comments said, like, can you actually show us setting up a line? So I thought we'd set up the iron line together, like friends. Uh, so here we go, right, uh, we'll uh, we'll head on up the mountain. We'll go from here. Thank you. I'll set the correct platform in a moment. And this is actually a relatively straightforward course because it's, it's nothing but point to point. Now, when I set this up, I've already created, as you can see, two shunting routes. Uh, one between these two that aren't connected to the, the big line here, and then one that picks up from there and takes it over to the big line. Really? The big line? Are you five? Um, yeah, that might be. Uh, so there you go. That's that. Job done. It's not, though, because uh, uh, we're then going to want... Uh, I'm going to need some signals on here, probably some extra points. We'll go down here again. Uh, we're going to do it two ways, you see. Uh, I wanted to use two separate platforms because I'm planning to run either four or six on there. Trains of a, of a reasonable length. I'll probably go four to start with and then, then see what we get. Right, so up here at Mining Corp, we go four. Then I want you to go three. That way, you see, we're going to have two trains in the platform at the same time. We're going to put uh, wait till full on both of those. Now, wait till full is actually our ally uh, under this uh, heavy use of trains scenario because it means that uh, that people can hang around and wait for longer um, and that means uh, you know you're going to get more interesting throughput now do I actually have a junction set here that allows me to do what I want yeah I don't think through hmm. hold on I've, I've had a notion 
Yeah, I have had a notion. Right, okay, first things first, we need to get some signals up. Uh, let's go over here, let's choose my favorite signals, despite the fact that I'm going off them rapidly because they do the hokey cokey on the shadowing. Uh, make this one way. Now, I'm pretty sure this will work, but I'm not 100% certain. There is no better place to put it than there, so we'll stick that one in there, and then uh, we'll just set a few more queuing sections as we go down the, uh, go down the hill here. So we'll put one just before the bridge. We don't want anything waiting on the bridge. Look, that could it could just be me deciding that that's important, but I think it's an it's a valuable piece of safety uh, going on there. So I'll stick one there and one here. Waiting in a tunnel, it's fine, as long as you're not on fire. But then if you're on fire, you've got problems. Not least of all, being on fire. So uh, so I'm, I'm pretty much comfortable with that. Uh, and then another one about there. Now, this is not equidistant spacing of signals, but it should do the job anyway. Uh, at least one would hope it would do the job anyway. We'll stick one over here. No, wait. Are you looking at this correctly? Yeah, I'm looking at this correctly. All right, so you want one about there, and then one about here. Well, it hasn't complained, so I think I've been consistent in, in getting these the right way around. Uh, and then one over there, and... That should do the trick, probably. Right, there we go. Yeah, that's done the trick. Definitely. Okay, groovy. Um, right, now, I also want them to use both platforms down here as well. So if we change this 8 to a 7. Yeah, no, wait, no, no, you've clicked it wrong. It's not the first time I've done that. Uh, you check. Okay, we've done it. There we are. It's working. That's that's performing as all no, it's almost performing as intended. Uh, now I've, I've, there's a very nice little mod in here, um, and it really is a very very little mod, uh, but uh, I really like it, and that is the uh, using a track tire as a waypoint um, is uh, is rather splendid because you can you can see it visibly, but it doesn't look out of place uh, on your uh, on your system. So where am I looking at here? This is, this is seven. Right, so after seven, please go via my new waypoint that I just placed, which is here, which is here, which should be showing up. Can it be bothered? No, it can't. There you go. Like that. Yep, there we go. Super. Smashing. That'll do it nicely. Good times for all involved. Uh, right, excellent. So now it's just a case of rock some trains up there. I'm just going to do a quick eyeball and make sure everything is performing as intended. Yep, yep, pretty much. Oh, no, wait, wait for it. What are you doing over here? I'm being cunning. You're not being cunning. You're being a pain in the bum. Also, I might switch. So that's four, then three. We might switch four, then two. Although, can you get back again? Yes, you can. Good. Okay, yeah, well, let's put another little waypoint in there. Uh, right before this junction should do the trick. Uh, and then add you just before you go to two. Uh, right, fine. Yeah, add station. That one. That that one. There you go. Brilliant. Nice. Okay, smashing. Good. That'll work. Great. Love it. Smashing. Excellent. And smashing. I don't know why smashing is particularly word of the day, but it is. Uh, so, NV Iron. Ooh. Let's call this bulk. Uh, and uh, I'm, using, I'm going with the Roman numerals. Just to, you know, change things up a little bit. Uh, keep us all guessing exactly what naming convention I'm using. The benefit to using Roman numerals rather than the Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, you know, the, the NATO alphabet that I've used historically, is uh, it sorts them correctly within the, uh, uh, within the, the root listing. I know, it's a small thing, but I like it. Uh, now then, right, we've got a feed out here. So we've got either of these two, which can be... All of these, if we uh, if we double slip these up, now I'm less bothered about this having uh, 56 different depots to play with. It's more about it's a nice looking building. See, it fits in with the uh, with the overall ethos. And as much as we've got a separate ethos going on over there, my plan is uh, set up episode one, decorate and move on episode two. See, because I think decorating even at the speed build speed is going to be a little bit. Yeah, all right, we get it. You've got your paintbrush out. Plus, I'm, a, I'm allowing myself the time to really fiddle with things. Uh, we will take time, I think, probably every three episodes. So every fourth episode, we'll do maybe a review 
of, uh, of what we've got so far. So you can see it in all its grandeur. Um, and then when the series is finished, obviously, you can, uh, you can download it for yourself and go tinker. Uh, right, this is Sherborne Train Depot, allegedly. Uh, I don't know which one I want. Does it matter? Well, let's try this one and see what happens. All right, let's buy a vehicle. Now, I picked something out for just this occasion. Uh, we're going electric, which is why I've electrified. Uh, there was, where are we? The Class 42 was what I was in the market for. Uh, right. I, wanted, I, I, I quite fancied a red Class 42, I'll be honest. Uh, how does one... Uh, Look, you've got you've got two variants there, and they're both identical. And yet, in your picture, you've got 96 variants. What on earth? Do you got 96 variants in this one? You're gonna have a blue one. Yeah, yeah, just I'm not, I'm not, I'm not impressed. No, why have you got 96? Ah, oh, just honestly, it's misrepresentative of what you're offering. I mean, I've got no problem with this, with this green business, but uh, I, you know, I wanted some, I wanted the blank one. <laughs> I'm a simple child, and therefore, you know, I'm on a black one. Uh, right, so we'll take the 242. What's the difference? Uh, this one's the new one. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, we'll go. We'll definitely go with the new one. Um, and then, 10 million quid. That's all right. I've got an unlimited bank balance, son. Uh, and then I'm going to use... Yeah, I know. Brace yourselves. We're going to use the uh, British five plankers here, because uh, uh, they're slightly different to the, uh, to the ones I'm using for iron, but not radically so. And then we'll, I, know, I can't, now, I've got 280 metres worth of platform length. Yeah, yeah let's go. I don't, what's 280 metres? That's going to be like three times in terms of feet. So we're looking at about 600 foot worth. Uh, probably more than that. I'm, I'm doing a very, uh, in fact, just short of 600 metres, so 600 feet. All right, okay. Because it's a, it's a rule that I've kind of set for myself here is that this time around, uh, you've got to be able to fit in the platform. Yeah, well, uh, file that under, you know, no shonkiness. Where are you at? 6.30. Uh, no, no, keep, drop it back. Let's go for 5.80. 5.64? Okay, yeah, I reckon 5.64 will fit. Uh, we'll have one of those. Now, do I want to clone it or do I want to mix the wagons up? Well... I want to mix the wagons up. Also, I don't necessarily want to send this one up there first. No, let's send, let's send you up first. Right, you get up uh, NVI in bulk. Can't find path to stop. All right, now I suspect that is the depot not being electrified, which is a bit of a pain. Um, well, we're gonna need to fix that because I've got more to send up there. So let's, uh, I, I don't know if this depot will electrify. That's the, quite, that's the thing. Uh, I mean, I'll I'll give it I'll give it a good shot, but uh, but ultimately, it either will or it won't. Hello, would you like to electrify? No, Gov. No, we are a non-electric depot. Do you know what that makes you? It makes you massively unhelpful. Why would you not allow me to electrify this depot? Why would this depot not be electrified by default? Right? It's a German depot, for crying out loud. This is Germany, the height of electric trains in Europe. Uh, just, I uh, honest, I mean, unless I'm missing it, it doesn't feel likely, does it? No, especially since if you click on the building, I can't, you know, customise it or anything like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fine, it's okay. Yeah, no, kill it. Contains vehicles. I know it contains vehicles. Give me the thing. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, guess which which one it's in. Uh, it's in one of them. There it is. Right. Bye-bye. Oh, I don't want to sell it. I just... It just took me minutes to put that together. All right. Okay. Look, I'm going to... Ooh, how are we going to... I just... Look, get rid of this. Yeah. Bye-bye. Uh, buy me something that can be electrified. Flipping mods. Honestly, they sucker you in by going like, ooh, look how lovely it all is. And you kind of go, oh yeah, it is rather lovely. I quite fancy some of that. And you kind of go, oh, can I use it? No. No, you can't. But you can look at it a lot. And you go, oh, thanks. Thanks, yeah, I really appreciate looking at it a lot. Part of me now goes, I could use the track helper. It's a non-functional depot. Forget I said anything. Uh, right, okay, we'll just use this one. All right, same again, please. There we go, and like magic, it worked first time. Here we are. Right, rolling out. Now, this is a 600-foot train. 
just short of. Uh, so uh, I've, I've gone with some small sense of a little bit of the randoms going on in there, just to make it look like you, they'd grab whatever came to hand when, uh, when putting it together. And uh, we'll now rock this up the mountain. And uh, and everything will be peachy. Now this this depot that I'm using here, it, it, we won't we won't stick with this depot. Uh, I'll put back the one that I had as soon as I've uh, I've finished deploying trains. But uh, but given that uh, that the other depot is going to be absolutely no use to us at all. I mean I could send a diesel up there then auto replace it. But you know what that feels like? Feels like cheating. Yeah, it does. And that said, given all of the other cheats that I've currently got enabled, why should, why should I even care? Uh, right now, we need uh, we, we need a couple of shunters up the top to do our uh, to do our bidding, and there isn't a really short electric shunter, so I'm going to send a couple of diesels up there. Uh, we'll use the DE10. All right, they're American, though. Is it? Yeah. All right. Well, no. Let's stay European then, uh, and we'll send this. Uh, where's well, where's CFR? It's probably China. Okay, yeah, all right, that's near enough Europe or something. What? Never mind. Uh, okay, right, so we'll, we'll we'll rock two of these up there. Now, these need to be shorter, so I think we can probably go, I don't know, let's let's do a couple of these. No, 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 you've, you've gone wrong there. A couple of these. Then you go into the, the random assortment. Yeah, then you go back in, you go random assortment. You know what would be nice? It's an un it, I mean, it's only because I'm doing it now. Is, is that if you were to, if you were able to say like, I want 17 wagons, you've put two state cars on there, um, uh, of a sorting variety, please. All right, what's that give us capacity wise? 42. Okay, right, you can go up on the little one. Uh, yep, we'll have that. Thank you. Right, you can go up onto Iron Shunt one. I don't know if the throughput's going to be enough, but once I've got the vehicles up there, we can, you know, we can shuffle them around a bit. Uh, and then Iron Shunt 2 will add an extra couple of wagons. Um, I think we'll even stick the local up the other end, just for the sake of sticking the local up the other end. Uh, maybe one more. And hopefully those platforms will be long enough. But I will tweak the platform if it's not long enough. Yeah. Put a blue one on this one. There you go. Right, fire it up the hill. Thank you very much. Yeah, up you go. Uh, that's, that's on uh, Iron Shunt 2. Good. See, I made sure all of my points were correctly aligned to uh, to make this uh, this function beautifully. Uh, now, I'm gonna. Uh, I don't really want to, but I think I might uh, take. Where's he got to? Oh, he's tinkering along nicely up there. Now, uh, I've set the track speeds differently, whether you're going uphill or downhill, you see. I've set the max track speed uphill to 25 miles an hour, uh, max speed downhill to 32 miles per hour. I know it's a huge difference, but it is uh, my bid to uh, simulating a bit of gravity there. We don't want these things moving too fast. And now that I look at it, I think four is not going to cut it. I think you're going to need six. That's no bad thing. We can, I mean, we can afford to. Uh, I think we can afford to run six. I'm just going to put four on there for now. Um, but yeah, okay. Let's get one more set up, and then we'll have a we'll have a clone of each one. Uh, so we're going over to the 42. We want the 242. Quite happy to have the same loco on both, and then uh, do the thing with the wagons. Fire it up the hill, and we are jobs are good. Right, so that's all done. Yeah, it's moving, but I'm not going to let you look at that because we've got one more thing to do, and I'm uh, I'm keeping these episodes to a strict 25 minutes or less length, as you can obviously tell. Um, anyway, right, so steel mill. Now, I'm only building one to start with. Suspect I might need more in the future, but one will do for now because uh, all I need to do is, uh, is get the production chain running. Uh, to see if any of this makes a profit or even breaks even. Um, I think there's there's a fighting chance that one or other of those things happens. Uh, but, uh, you know, this particular build section that we've got going on here, there's not much to it. It's basically run it all the way down the island and, and hook up to the, the big station there. Then stick something suitably beefy on it and uh, let them have it. Right? Uh, relatively straightforward. Um, now, I might do some remodeling of this to, uh, to take in some sights and sounds and smells and so forth. Uh, but, uh, but as it stands right now, we'll go in a beeline just purely to get it going, right? Just 
simply to, to make it go. No, hold on, I've changed my mind. No, 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 no. Look, we'll do it a little bit better now, and then maybe I won't have to redo it again later. I'll probably redo it again later. But hey, look, what you know, we take look at that cheeky. Um, so yeah, yeah, no, we we'll wend our way merrily down the coastline of the island. That's that corner needs a bit. Never mind. Um, yeah, to to you know, give me freight drivers. A little bit more fresh air. I, I thought that uh, that first attempt there was perhaps a little bit too undergroundy, uh, but getting it up to uh, up to kind of uh, a respectable height was proving to be next to impossible. It was going almost uphill the entire distance. Uh, I've changed my mind again. Now you see, look, we can we could just span a little bit lower down. There you go. See, actually, the the reason for that was not to make a span of a little bit lower down. It was because it wouldn't. I couldn't get it to reach the platform. No, unless you go underground the entire way, getting it to reach the platform is next to impossible. Anyways, you could possibly make out. I've, uh, the, the steel mill itself is at more or less sea level, uh, so it can be hooked up to run with some ships. Who doesn't love a ship? Uh, if you don't, tough. I'm going to be building some ships at some point because, um, you know, they're, they're there. They look uh, splendid when, uh, when done correctly, and, and therefore we'll, we'll do that. But look, don't worry too much about it. This is just detail, right? This is just fun. Oh, I've done. Right. This is where we came in. Look, this is that uh, that spoiler that I did at the start of the show that was hilarious. And you still haven't properly recovered from laughing. Um, but we're we're running these, these American uh, open cars to uh, wagons. Gondolas. That's what they call them. Uh, to transport stuff. It's being hauled by a Russian loco. I'm a true internationalist. Uh, in this regard, uh, it, it's purely because I couldn't find a gondola I liked better. Uh, there's some nice, really nice uh, modern ones, uh, particularly the Finnish set that are available, uh, but they don't come into service till 1990. Uh, we are, for reasons I don't fully, well, I do fully understand, we're kicking off in 1975. Uh, hence the uh, the the low choice of uh, of locomotion available right now. Now, when we move on to the second phase of this project, I'll change that up and we'll uh, we'll advance the the year accordingly. But there you go. That's it in motion. Uh, we've got the new train now out heading on towards its line, and when we pick up for the uh, for the next episode. We'll, we'll take a minute or two and, and appreciate some of what's been built. Uh, but I need to get my paint bucket out and, uh, you know, make all of this look a little bit more authentic. I mean, I'm happy with the junctioning, happy with the throughput of trains. Just needs a bit more of a whiz. So uh, here's where we came in. So this is the uh, the old build. And then using the, the magic of, uh, of the crossfade, Ooh, here's the new stuff. See, hey, oh, look at how it works out. That is tremendous. And uh, there's the old old stuff again. Oh, what's he gonna do next? That's right, there's the new stuff again. Ah, it's brilliant, brilliant. This never gets old. I could watch it doing this kind of business all day. But you can't watch it all day uh, because uh, I've finished. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheerio. Well, there you go. There's episode two of your new peninsula-based endeavour. And as I mentioned several times there to get a cheap laugh, these videos are supposed to be 25 minutes long. Uh, but I, I, I worked out when I came to, to edit that, uh, that actually, even in the speed build sections, I was, uh, I was at risk of, of removing stuff that I felt was quite compelling. Compelling, friends. Yeah, I know this. There's a, there's a thing I don't often describe anything as. Um, so, yeah, so I, I, I left more in than I, than I perhaps should have, but that's because I recorded more than I perhaps should have. Um, now, the steel... The, don't worry about the steel mill at the end, right? It, that wasn't throwaway. This was just purely so I could get the, the, the industry stuff working. Because, uh, again, as I mentioned earlier on, the, the, the plan here is, uh, is to build it and show you what's being built and uh, and the kind of the thought process behind that and then uh while you're not watching make that look pretty uh and then when you are watching show it off a bit and move on to the next bit rinse repeat uh wash hands and uh wipe them on your pants um, yeah, so uh, the, so that's the that's the scheme that we're that we're running with here and we're going to do three videos 
uh, per Peninsula Island spit uh, exposition. Um, and, uh, and that means that the, the next one coming up is I've got to get quite a lot in that. Yeah. Oh, I'm sticking to the plan. No, I no, I hear you. No, I want to watch the whole thing, Colonel. No, 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 don't skip any of oh, do it long for no. I've done that for years, right? I would I'm doing this heavy edited business this time around, and you're just gonna have to lump it. Uh and you know, may, maybe there's maybe there's some gold in here somewhere. Maybe there isn't. Uh but we we're all gonna find out together, and if there isn't any gold in it, then nobody will watch it, will they? Yeah. And now that you're watching this, you kinda go, I watched the whole thing curses and i'm going yeah you did yeah because it's compelling yeah that's what i've created compelling video <laughs> yeah anyone might think i almost know what i'm doing but i don't i know but i do uh, or do i uh, i might do but i possibly don't anyway you can tune in next time because uh passengers passengers next time passengers oh yeah i gotta build three sit three count of cities and a port <sighs> Well, we'll see how we get on. But uh, yeah, three cities, connect them up, run some passenger trains. 25 minutes. No problem. Ow.